what's up YouTube this is King Rancher 13 welcome back to another video thank y'all so much for your support uh, the channel's grown a lot since uh, we've gotten this truck but today we're not talking about the 22 Tremor King Ranch we're gonna be talking about the 2020 limited that we've got um, so if you haven't seen the video of uh, where I did a walk around and stuff like that of it when I got this truck check out the video right here somewhere uh, but anyways we're gonna be talking about the whole setup on this truck today because I've had a bunch of y'all ask me on the in the comments and in messages and stuff like that of what the setup. So, going to break all that down in this video, but before we do that, I always like to try to have a clean truck and if you look at this, it's got bugs and dirt and mud on it. So, going to take care of that before we do an official walk around and everything of the setup and uh, all the main questions y'all have been asking about this truck. So we're gonna do that right now But if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out our channel and be able to uh, Afford stuff like this or stuff like that. So now off to the detailer we go so we got the truck back from getting detailed and uh, let's see what we got around the truck hey, what are those things those hay bales oh yeah they are hay bales so I'm gonna just do a little run around here hopefully I don't hit anything like a hay bale uh, but anyways we got the hay cut off the property here. Um, it's about five acres. So we got uh, some of it picked up already, but uh, we've got some more bales over here on this side that still need to get loaded up. But the shop is uh, looking pretty good with the hay finally cut. I was waiting for it to get low enough before they came and cut it. Actually, uh, I was on vacation and got back and they had cut all this and it wasn't bailed and I was like who the heck just came in here and cut all my hay but then I figured out who it was so anyways uh I'm gonna pull up to the shop here don't mind the mess I've been shooting some drone footage and stuff uh for Josh and Colby on one of their projects and then got a pretty cool shot of the truck so let's um get inside here because it's really hot uh and we'll do the walk around inside how about that Lights on, cameras on, uh, no action yet. Let's open these doors up. I'm trying to do this one handed is kind of tough. Right, there we go. Let's pull this sucker in here. American Forces. All right, so I guess uh, real quick before we get into all the details with the truck, here's a little bit of the shop layout. <laughs> I just went ahead and pulled my boat in here just for time being. Got the skiddy here, got the trailer here. Um, storage room as always. So here's that hunter alignment system that uh, showed you in a few videos back. Uh, don't worry about these tires. For some projects there that's off the tremor of course um so this is the newest part of the shop um got these shelves from sam's club actually and man it actually looks pretty good i, I really like this metallic look on here um i haven't had the chance to really organize anything but i mean pretty good looking shelves not sure if i'm gonna keep them right there or not but um 
But it, look, it makes the shop look really good, I think, or a lot better. Um, I'm trying to figure out kind of the layout as we go, but slowly but surely, we'll get there. Oh, I've got some more shelves right there as well. So those are two smaller ones, and those are five shelves. So maybe those will be for more for like merch and stuff like that that maybe I'll put in the offices. Got some wood right here laid out for um, a special project for Colin, actually. So, yeah, this is a little bit of the shop update before we get into the truck. Yep, everything else is the same. Just waiting on fire marshal and engineers. All right, so let's get into this vehicle here, uh, this fine specimen. As y'all know, limiteds aren't my thing, or anything outside of King Ranches aren't my thing, but can pass up on buying a truck from a customer. And, uh, it does look pretty darn good. Maybe it'll reach where some guys don't like some trucks and some guys do and vice versa. So I've got the tremor for more of the bubble look and then this more of the kind of show truck or you know, cool looking truck look. So, all right, let's go in here. So obviously it's a limited, it's a 2020 F-250. And uh, we'll start with suspension. Uh, it's a four inch Wicked Customs lift and uh, it's got the 2.0 Reservoir shocks. They ride really good All right, and for wheels and tires, so the wheels are American Force wheels um, I forget what the name of this pattern is, but I'll, I'll put it right right here somewhere But these are 24 by 12 and the tires are Fury Country Hunter MTs and they're 365 45 24 so I think it comes out to about a around the 37 or so. Um, previous owner, he, he had to trim a little bit just to make it, you know, not rub and not hit. And it, I mean, really, you can turn the wheel almost, I think all the way without it rubbing actually, which is very surprising. Um, and here, I'll show a little bit of the poke of it. So that's about how far it sticks out. So, six, uh, so about this whole tread, chunk of tread sticks out on the front. Obviously, it's a little wider track, so it's like a chunk and a half. Yeah, so here I'll do it from the front. On this side, same deal. And then one chunk in the rear. Um, the tint on it is 5% on everything, so 5% and then 5% on top of the factory tent there. Sorry, I'm sweating. You can tell it's hot. And then the front is a uh, 15%, I believe. No, maybe it's, I'm sorry, maybe it's 25%. I think it's 25. Um, the interior, oh crap, I got all my filming stuff out. But anyways, this is the interior, suede head, headliner and all that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of soft, very soft touch on these limited. Little trim pieces are pretty neat. That lights up. Back seats, oh gosh, I got a bunch of stuff in here. Back seats, same like the front. And the bed, we got a gooseneck hitch. And then the back. So, okay, I guess the next thing to go over after the suspension and wheels and tires and the shocks is, um, how is it ride? So how's it ride? Uh, so how it rides is it's like I mean these three quarter ton trucks at the end of the day are not. I'm sorry, I'm sweating down beads. Maybe I should turn on this fan. Oh, there we go. Alright, that feels much better. Alright, much better. So the ride of it is, I'd say it's a pretty good riding truck for the smaller wall on the tires and then for it being a four inch lift um, and not like coilovers or anything like that. It rides pretty good. I've had no issues out of it. Um, I think a couple things I wanna do are like maybe a dual steering stabilizer. I'm not sure what else I really wanna do. I don't wanna do too much to it. Um, maybe. Y'all can give me some ideas on, you know, some things I should do to this truck or um, things you think I should 
replace or modify. Um, it, but for the most part, I mean, it sits pretty darn perfect in my opinion. Um, it doesn't squat, um, well, empty. Yeah, it's pretty darn level, but when I have my skid steer back here, it does squat pretty good. So I guess that is the other thing I would do is put airbags in here. Of course, uh, if you want to see the best airbags, here's a link to the video where we put some bags on another customer's truck. But anyways, yeah, this is uh, kind of how it looks. And yes, of course, the truck is fully deleted and everything. It's got a no limit intake on it. But check this out. Oh, not my phone going off. Okay, actually it's my wife, let me take this. Check out those two switches. Those go to some of the rock lights on this truck. Underneath. And on the rear fender well. And they really light up at night. And some wheel lights. And last but not least, uh, I'm gonna have to turn the truck on for this one. Check it out. Yeah, those horns are pretty darn loud and they are fun to, <laughs> they're fun to honk at uh, whenever passing some buddies or random people on the highway. You know, I don't do it to, you know, make anybody unsafe or anything like that, but it's really fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've had a lot of good looking trucks, but this might be one of the top, top five, I would say. So uh, comment down below and let me know kind of what y'all y'all's thoughts are on this truck. Um, and again, on any recommendations on what you think I should do to this one. Don't know how long I'm gonna keep it, of course, but you know, it'll be, I want to have fun with it while I have it. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed um, seeing everything on this truck. And if you need any parts for your truck to make it look like this, uh, as far as wheels, tires, lifts, shocks, um, the whole nine yards or anything uh, just give us a call our phone number and our contact down is down below and uh, You can reach out to us anytime central time nine to five and Monday through Friday So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching again I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye City lines and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met, you never get to know.